This is not something I thought I needed to buy, but apparently I needed to buy it. This is a toothpaste squeezer. And I bought it because someone that I care very deeply for um, uh, can't use toothpaste correctly. It's, I think it's a physical disability, I'm hoping. And this should solve that. You see, normal person, let's say you take your toothpaste. It's all here, and you got the flat part here. You put your hand here and the thumb. You open it and you squeeze onto your sandwich or toothbrush, whatever you want to do. And you close it like that and you put it down. But some people just squeeze from the middle. And we're not going to point fingers. We're not going to name names. What we're going to do is we're going to spend money. And when you spend money, you can fix anything. So this does this. That goes in there. And then you rotate. And you rotate. And it will literally squeeze every little drop out of your toothpaste. And then when you're done, it stands up. Now, if I haven't sold, I sell a lot of things on my big channel. This is a side channel. If this, I think, $6 item isn't purchased by you, get the fuck off the internet. Because that is genius. First of all, I would like to point out that Crest has a big wide cap and stands up on its own. You put it down and it stands up. Where Colgate, while a very good toothpaste still, cannot support itself on its own tip unless you're like Jesus. So that, that's my first unboxing. Ta-da! And you can still squeeze it from the middle and then just crank it once. So someone else is gonna squeeze it and I'm gonna go crank and it's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Fine. It's gonna be fine. Okay. Now, all of you gave me shit on... Let's cut my finger open. No, I'm good. Everyone gave me shit about the sound rise stands because, oh my god, they're $165. See, they're just a piece of metal, you shill bastard. Like, I've never gotten negative comments on something that I've liked before until the sound rise stands. So, I made damn sure when I spoke to Sonny again, the guy who creates them, I said, yeah, you send me another set in black now. So I could shield them even more and harder. Because here's the thing. I legitimately like the way these function. Uh, this thing. Zio, hey Z, 10,000 views in 24 hours. Never expected this kind of turnout, despite the colorful comments. It's all part of the journey, and you're providing new roads for Sunrise. Thank you for liking these. Enjoy the new pair of Black Pro. Now you can make them disappear again on your black desktop. Blue stands on the horizon in March. Best wishes, Sunny. And this should be the new... Either there's $2,000 in here, which would be nice, or we've got speaker stands. We've got feet. We've got $15 discount. 15% discount code. You ready? Go. UFO 15. Go. You see? This is why you should watch these unboxings. Because I ruin all the discount codes. Show some love. Bottom of the stand. So has he not added more? Soundrise logo is still a little, is it smaller than it was? Nope. Still getting rid of the giant stickers. Giant, I say. Giant. He should have included another one of these. If we're going to do four on the bottom and four on top. This would be one speaker stand. I guess... I'll have to link, I will link in the description of this video, um, probably not these specific ones, I think they sell much smaller ones on Amazon, or maybe I'll just try to find these, they can't cost too much. Yes, made in the USA, I want tape that says made in the USA, I wonder where this tape is made though, because that's always been like a bother for me, like you ever buy an American flag and read where it's made in China, and it's like, oh god, oh my soul, my soul. I'm unwrapping this one. That one's so much easier to get to. I am, of course, going to keep this wrapping because yard sales happen. Like, people were complaining about everything. You know, that design looks childish. Why don't you just pick up, go to design school and like, like, all right, it's got a hole in the bottom, save material weight. It's got the hole in the back for wires. And it's got this thing on top, which is sort of like their logo shape with the S. They're nice and black. 
That is like real pro level, pro level black. They somehow feel lighter too. I'm only gonna unwrap one of these if you don't mind. I'll put it on top of this giant sweet water box. And I'll move all these things. There. Can we move along? I don't know what's in these boxes. All I know is my back hurts and I should have a back massager on one of them. I think. I don't know, either one of these UPS? Neither one of these is UPS. It might not have the big back massager. I only have the little back massager. All right, we've got more bubble wrap. Again, I'll save all that stuff. We've got, thank, please work. So here's my polar meat thermometer, right? Which the battery looks like it's crapping out. I gotta go get another AAA. Um, I was cooking a roast beef in my toaster oven and the probe got real close to the element to the point where it touched the element and then the probe reached a thousand degrees and stopped being a probe. So the probe died. So I bought a replacement probe and it was the wrong probe because it was reading the resistance was completely fucked up. And this is this should this is a polder probe. And it's a polder thermometer. So when I plug this in, we should get 80 degrees, 84, 87. It's the correct probe, thank God. It's also very large and will not fit in my toaster oven anymore. That is sad. That is the sadness. And that's gonna poke me in the eye. Oh jeez. oh Jesus. So yeah, replacement thermometer probe from a polder. Let's throw away, th that's pl plastic, but it has a sticker on it. But bottles have stickers on them, I don't know. I just don't want to poke my eye out. Um, this stuff, Easy Ink. So I have a Canon printer now for f almost four years. When I moved in here, I, did my roommate have a printer? And then I used his, and then I need to buy my own printer because I had to do the shipping labels and things like that. And, wait, this isn't wide enough to be the, is it? I hope this is the right stuff because my ink cartridge is running out and this is the one it said to buy and I have easy ink in the colors and easy ink in the colors I didn't they don't usually work work great some crazy high amount of things I'm not a slippers guy like I don't wear slippers I wear these house shoes and everyone's like why are you wearing shoes in the house it's because my heels are killing me all the time Plant the fascia, look it up. But these are legitimately slippers. With memory foam bottoms. And breathable tops. And they're size 12, which is what I wear. Well, they look a little bit small for me, we'll see. When will we see? This is the unboxing. We see now, fam. We see now. Okay. Hold that Genelec sub. There we go. Oh, if I work my feet in there, I may order the slightly larger ones. I'm a 12, but I feel like a 13 would be like even better. Oh, those are nice and comfy. Wow. They're right, right, actually they're probably perfect. You know what, they are perfect. As soon as you get your feet worked in there. Okay, okay. Rock Dove, made for exhausted feet. I think on the inside, pictures of bunnies. For Amazon customers call this, about us, based in Santa Monica, California. We handmade the first Rock Dove slippers. Now they're made in China, I'm sure. Laceandlawn.com, how do I clean them? Machine washable. Nice. Memory uh, foam tends to feel snug at first. Give them a few days to stretch out. Give them time to break in. Promise you have them just perfectly fine. Oh, yes. Okay, and finally. Uh, well, my Miper and T Tiani will always be good to your subject of happiness. So this is my back massager that I'm totally going to use on myself. My back hurts. 
even though there should be a bigger, better back massager either in that box or coming later. We'll find out. Oh, it's so small. Look how small that is. And this is an interesting one because, oh, I thought there was the buttons too. That would have been cooler if this was the buttons. Here, let's try it. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, my back. And it comes with a little charger wire because it's waterproof. That's nice. And it comes with a little pink bag. That's nice. What are other options? Oh, that goes up to Murder Ball. I don't know why I needed to do that. That's funny. Okay. I should be able to hold it. It's like I know how to use these things. I don't understand. All right, you go there. And I guess since you work, I don't need the instructions. Oh, there's so many pretty ones. Anyway, that's nice. My back will feel so much better. But this could be, it is. So that's the back massager for girls. If you're gonna be a man about having a back massager, and this is like no joke. I, I know someone who showed me theirs for 23 seconds and I'm like, oh, that seems like a reasonable amount of money to pay for that. I'm not gonna tell you what I paid for this. I'm just gonna link it in the description. It comes with a one year warranty, 24 volt lithium, 2.2 pound lightweight design. Yeah, yeah. How are your life? Let's bust this out and we can compare the two. The, and not to be like sexist, oh, the pink girly one, but um, I don't know, if any women in the audience watching the Z unboxings, trash, right? I don't know, I still don't understand how we're talking work. You guys can, uh, can, you guys, even though you're women, see, I could call you guys, because everyone's fair in love, war, and back massagers. Yes, vibration massage device user manual. None of that like fancy pink bag stuff. Look at these people. They're serious. They've got injuries on their arms and legs and calves and the bottoms of their feet. I'm gonna please fully charge up six hours when use first use. And I'm gonna let it charge obviously. Yeah. Comes with four attachments. We've got the meat tenderizer. We got the prober. We got the uh, spine remover gangbanger. I'm gonna call that the gangbanger. And that's a solid, that's a piece of, that's there. And then a foam ball, which is the one that the guy I talked to had. Now, how do these go on? I think it just pushes in and pulls out. There's no, there's no like lock. It's it, it's just, that's it. And I'm gonna turn it on, even though it says to charge it for the first use. Blue LEDs. I think it might need to be charged. That's why it's giving me the freak out. We'll find out. That's like a 16 millimeter. Oh my god. Oh. oh my god. You don't know how this feels. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna let this charge now. Sleep, baby, sleep. That. Put that against your neck. Like, I'm serious. Like, this, I do a lot of joke unboxings and I talk about, ooh, this is for girl fun and this is for boy fun. But it's like, that that that's cheap and this is worth the money 
until you, I can't explain it to you, right? Just take a two pound unit that's got 16 millimeters of throw and have it just smash you at up to I think 4,500 RPM. The specs are on the, on the, go to the Amazon link in the description and the specs are there. And just read, just read things. Monster, monster neck. Like I just, I can't wait to have a sore back. It's gonna be great. Anyway, that concludes this particular one. I will see you all in the next one.